This is Wild Chronicles. Humans may fear sharks, but it seems sharks have more to fear from humans. A recent study suggests that overfishing has slashed the population of sharks. Just in the past decade for many species, the numbers have dropped by more than 50%. Despite concerns, people continue reeling in these top predators for food and sport. In South Portland, Maine, this shark hunting tournament draws quite a crowd. But these sport fishermen are not just here for a trophy catch. They're fishing to promote research. They receive a copy of the rules and a camera to record the sharks they catch, tag for research, and then release. These so-called hatch and release tournaments are popular along the Atlantic seaboard. There you go, and happy fishing. Thank you. They'll tag it, release, and you can track the fish from miles away, Spain, Puerto Rico, along the East Coast. It's really the only way you can study a fish out in the wild. Even in summer, mornings in Maine can be cool and misty. The teams head off in search of sharks that enter these waters on their summer migration. On board the Karen Ann, the fishermen are joined by researchers who will study the catch of the day. Snaring a shark takes skill and strength. Sharks caught here can weigh many hundreds of pounds. Nice small fish. You ready? But this one is small. Right up in this. Some species of shark grow only a few inches annually and take 20 years to become sexually mature. Their gestation period lasts a long nine months to two years. Slow to grow and reproduce, sharks can easily be wiped out by overfishing. After gathering data, the catch is released. Not everyone condones this merging of science and sport fishing. But biologists say it provides them a rare opportunity to study these vulnerable predators. The biggest benefit for us is literally to get more data. We see more fish and we talk with more anglers and we'll get to see more animals over the course of the summer. It's all right. Yeah, yeah. Are they all make uh, no. National Geographic's Kyler Abernathy is also on board the project. His goal is to attach a critter cam to some of the larger sharks. This fish is hefty and potentially dangerous. The fishermen and researchers must move quickly but carefully to secure the fish and gather data. Kyler snaps the camera on the dorsal fin. It will record what the shark sees before releasing and floating to the surface, giving researchers unique insight into life underwater. Okay. Finally, it's time to release the shark back into the deep. We're gonna release. Oh, he's down there. But not all sharks in the tournament return to the sea. Larger mature sharks are brought in to be weighed. It's 402.5. Yeah. Wow, that's a big blue shark. These big guys will be delivered to biologist Lisa Natanz, who studies their remains. We could definitely do our research 
research without the tournaments. The tournaments make it a lot easier. The fish are brought in and they let us come sample, which is great. Um, we could uh, get them in other ways if we had to, but this just makes it easier for us. By studying the contents of their stomachs, their guts and reproductive systems, scientists hope to learn more about the impact of pollution and habitat change on shark populations. The fishermen say that for the most part, they're here for fun. They enjoy the challenge of catching an apex predator. But many seem pleased that they are in some ways helping the researchers dedicated to protecting sharks. I think this is a very good tournament. I agree with the, the practices going on at this tournament. Um, they are trying to limit the amount of smaller sharks brought in. Um, there's a lot of guys, you're getting points for tagging and releasing small sharks, uh, which again is going to help with the research. In many ways, the cooperation between sportsmen and conservationists seems natural. Both have an interest in keeping a viable population of sharks in these coastal waters. Fishermen, scientists say, will hold tournaments and reel in sharks with or without them. By joining forces, researchers get valuable specimens to study. And many sharks get a chance to live another day. This time, the fish that got away is not a loss, but a cause for celebration. Check for Wild Chronicles on your local PBS station. Sponsored by National Geographic Mission Programs. Taking science and exploration into the new millennium.